so So it feels so weird sometimes when you stop doing it to get back to it. It just feels weird. But I wanted to stop doing my videos like this and do it the live way. But I don't know. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so you just kind of have to deal with these until I finally stop. Um, the ways the slow sounds so good. It feels so good. Uh, and I'm still kind of energy at me and it's not like all on the stage and I meditate but I just took a moment just to kind of breathe after so much kind of like chaotic energy has been around me and I've just been absorbing it's like I've been absorbing chaos <laughs> so much uh, right um This one is the 512. I forgot what they did. I'm going I've been listening so yesterday so I so I have been in such a like major fog for the last couple of days um, and yesterday I just kept crying right I was just crying and crying and crying and then I was just like in the bed crying 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 and then like around five o'clock these are so they're up my head and then around five o'clock I created these I don't know if I ever showed y'all these but I did them anyways uh, so um 
I um what was I doing? Oh, I was uh so I was crying, crying, crying. <laughs> I think you said that. But I was crying and I was just like not in the mood for anything and I was just like in a in a funk, in a creative funk too, just like all funk. Um, and then I had decided to finish watching the video that I had started. I probably watched it like five minutes of it, maybe like two weeks ago, and then decided to finish watching it. And it was with, um, it was with Erica Badu. It was not truly with Erica Badu um, and the dude Reggie or something like that, but it's that Mark something show, right? I don't know if it's like a show or it's like, I think it was like streaming it. I don't know. But. When I tell you I just finished watching that show, that that video, that episode, whatever it is, um, it was. When I tell you when I finished, it uplifted my spirits, bro. And the thing that lifted, and it just like it was just really dope, and it really like really rebooted me. Like you know how like those CPR day they like charge, like that's how I felt. Like it was with creativity, right? Um, and just not necessarily like the ideas that I was in the front with because I just been flowing with a lot of the creative things and creative ideas but it was more so of like recharge of the desire to do it the desire, the desire to continue to immerse myself into art right um because she they started off like so they had they just basically had a jam session right and they started off with these like little random little horn things and then they were just finding things all in the room to make music and they just made beautiful and it was just flowing and they were just making beautiful music and it was just off based off of just truly fully freestyle right so you could tell you could tell the difference when it's really freestyle compared to when it's not because when people be like they'll freestyle and it'd be like a whole lyrics like bro come on now you know we be messing up like you have no perfection like you know you you wrote that you practice that and you're just like oh i'm freestyling like, i'm freestyling and putting it on the spot it's like yeah. <laughs> so she uh so it was like it was just like great and i was like damn i want to be around people I want to be around artists, but there's a certain particular type of artist that I want to be around, like, people who are just, like, fun and innovative with their artist, you know, their artistry and stuff like that. Like, that's the people I want to be around. People who are just, like, who love the art and not in love with the using art to make money. Because people who use art to make money start to compete, right? And they start to look at you as a competition compared to people who do art for the sake and love of art, right? Um, so today, our video, our, this video is going to be on the treatment plan, right? And as, so after we've done the assessment, we got all and gathered all this information, right? And after I did that video, I think I probably posted it maybe like two weeks after I did it. And then I was gonna make, same week, we're gonna make the next video, and then I ended up taking like two weeks from then from posting it to now, but it was just like more, more truths have to come out for myself personally and more honestly for myself. So take time with each video because sometimes as you're watching it or as you do the exercise, say you did, you watch this video and you did the exercise right then and there or as you're watching it, right? Sometimes stuff is still not, it's like you just open the door, but you didn't go looking throughout the whole house, right? So in that first video, like I walked in and went into the living room, but I haven't gone to the bedrooms, into the bathrooms, I looked in the medical cabinet, stuff like that, right? And so it really took a month of me really having like real truth and real realizations to where I was finally ready to, right? Okay, I can get to the next phase, right? So. It's taking me just as much time as it is. It will be probably for you. So I just want you to take your time and slow it and like don't judge yourself. Because I know like even for myself when I watch like, if I watch like very heavy, dense, really powerful spiritual videos, especially when I'm like new to all of it, it's overwhelming, right? Um, and it takes me a long time. Like I remember I used to watch like Miriam Hasma's um, YouTube videos, which when I had her, uh, I was subscribed to her, uh, What's it called? Her new ministry, her new mystery, or something like that. Um, thing. And so she, um, 
sorry. Um, so yeah, so it used to take me like, her video would be like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, like just about as long as mine's, right? Um, and sometimes I would have to like, I would watch maybe like be into it to like 30 minutes and then I had to pause and just kind of like take it all in because I'm like overwhelmed. And then sometimes I might not even get back to it until another month or a couple of weeks later. Um, and it's actually the perfect time that I went back to it because a lot of times, for me, even when I'm reading, sometimes I'll stop reading I'll start reading them and I'll um, and then I'll go back to them however long it takes me but then when I go back to reading it usually it's to reiterate and confirm whatever lessons or, le or whatever experiences I was dealing with in those moments right? so so yeah so it might be for you like these videos might be like oh my god they're they're heavy like I gotta kind of like come back to them Take your time and don't feel bad if you have to if you just don't have the, the unction or the mood to go back to it. It'll come at the perfect time, right? Like these use these maybe as your introduction to divine timing. Right? Because the message is going to be for you when the message when you're ready to receive the message. You might not understand it or receive it at that moment in time. And these aren't to give you the answers, it's for it's more for confirmation, right? Like all things spirituality is more so confirming what you already know rather than trying to plant a seed for something that you don't know right and so today we're going to do so be talking about like the treatment planning of it um we're going to look at basically after you look at all of your assessments you're going to be looking at what goals you want to set for yourself right so from all the things that you have listed out and from your honesty, now it's time for you to like review and go, okay, well what, in my situation, what are some of the things that I want, that I, I want to change, what things are like feasible for me to change. So in therapy, the thing when we do our treatment plannings with, um, with clients, and this is kind of like, okay, well how do we want to like cater and craft our therapy sessions, right? What are the things you want to work on in therapy? So the thing is, it's called SMART goals, right? So the S is for you want to be uh, specific. You want to be very specific and not vague about what you want, right? Um, M is measurable. So we want to measure it, right? Um, so say you want to, instead of like, I just don't want to be sad. It's like, no, what, what within the sadness is it, right? Like, well, with how are you? acting and responding within your sadness are you crying a lot right so we want to instead of just saying like overall vagueness of sad because you know you can't emotions come in waves so oh i had this saw when i was driving when i was on the bus here coming here i saw this sign it had a tidal wave it was so cute and it was like happiness comes in waves and it was so affirming for me because especially because i keep seeing a lot of uh, hummingbirds and a lot of <clears throat> spirit saying like happiness is coming happiness is coming but as the signs of like happiness is like coming all i've been feeling is like sadness right but it's just, like everything comes in waves like every emotion you know we have a cyclical motion emotion cycle right but we'll go <laughs> to that when we get to the cycle um, but mainly so yeah back to this like measurable so say this thing is like you were specifying something so we said crying so it's like okay how many times are you crying a day? Typically, you're crying. So you're like, okay, I cry literally every day. So seven days out of the week, seven out of seven, you know, like maybe six days out of the week, I am crying. So I want to get it down from six. So we were like, so measurable, right? So we want to have like a time. How many times? So six, right? So you cry six times. So, um, okay, smart, I'm so smart. <laughs> a is attainable, making sure that it's attainable. You stopping crying is something that we can attain, right? You didn't say you want to learn how to fly. You say you want to stop crying. So that's something that, it, that can be a take. Um, what is R? Is it reasonable? Y'all, I'm probably wrong about all these things. Um, but either way, though, so we want to, oh, R is realistic. Like, let's be realistic about it, right? So we're going to go, for your measures, we're going to go, you want to go down from crying six times, six days a week, down to crying three days a week, right? Now, if it was about suicidality, if it was like you have the suicide thoughts, at the end of the day, that was always going to be zero. We don't want you to have any at all. Um, so if you're having suicide thoughts every day, we're going to make it go from like seven days a week to zero. <laughs> like that's that's the only thing that we will put zero um, from that big, right? 
So we don't want to go from like, say you're doing something like, say you're, so even like if we're doing crying, say you're crying six days a week, I'm not going to say you're going from six days a week to zero. Like that may not be realistic for your situation, but it might be easier for us if we go down from like six to four. So, so it's like, okay, just, you know, chopping it down little by little, like crunching, 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 right? Like you don't want to go from like, 3,000 pounds, 300 pounds to 150 like that, right? Like you want to go in increments. You want to go like slowly so that your body adjusts to your weight. So that's why sometimes when we see people who, who do weight loss drastically, right? Their bodies, they mess with the elasticity of their body, right? So they have more loose skin. So whereas for me, I had lost dirt before I, because you're not had gain weight. So before then, I had lost weight to 300, and then I had got, I was 300, and I went to 100, and I think I was like 100 and 160, somewhere between 100, 160 and 170, like within that range. Um, I stopped weighing myself, so I didn't know how to work my weight was. Um, but like the one time that I did weigh myself, I thought I was much lower than 108. Um, or I was like bigger, and I was like 100, so I'm 80, and then, I got smaller and I didn't weigh. So did I? No, I did. Honestly, y'all, I think I was like 155, to be honest with you. I was small. Um, <laughs> and I didn't even realize at that time that I was even small. So I look back now, I'm like, damn, I was small. And I don't even know like what this size is, but this is a whole lot of weight. <laughs> I don't know. I have like, I'm like gaining weight here. You know, like it's here. It's like this big tire that's like, he's fluctuating. Um, anyways, that's not what we were talking about right now. Um, and then we wanted to be T timeable. Uh, so we wanted to be like in a time frame, right? Right. So over the next six months, we are going to get you to stop crying from six days a week to four. Now, we're not going to do that with our, our tumor planning. This time, we're going to go based off of our chakras, right? Um, and some of the goals, so we're gonna look at some of the things that we've talked about and talk about some of the goals we wanna have. Okay, so where do I wanna start? So first, we're gonna start with the root chakra, right? And our root chakra is everything that is physical. Everything that, it could be your physical body, it could be your physical home, your family situation, all that, right? All these things can, um, it's like the, the focus, your money, um, your business or, career goals, stuff like that. Uh, that's where we're going to, so for Root Chakra, that's what we're gonna focus on right now, in this moment, right? So, go look at, before you, before you do that, if you're unfamiliar with it, I want, I'm going to post a link to Cafe Astrology, and I want you to pull up your birth chart. So with your birth chart, it's basically like a breakdown of all the planets that are within you your personal planets um and how the no how the planets personally impact you um and then all of the um the energies of like horoscopes zodiacs every time like horoscope the energy of zodiacs um how they you know the, their energies how they're integrated into your personal energy right so but you know how people say like your sun sign is who you present yourself to be your rising is your personality your moon is how you express your emotions stuff like that so read it you may not understand it like it's i read it constantly not constantly i probably should start reading it and i'm gonna go back and read it myself i haven't done it in maybe like over a year or so um but it's always like good to go back every good moon it's not a frame of reference it's not a thing to tell you what you should like people be going like They'd be like, oh, if you look at this house, it could tell you what job you should have. Like, I don't do shit like that. All I do is, like, kind of, like, read, like, just kind of, like, the, some of the stuff. And I'm like, wow, that do make sense. Like, that is me. Like, that. Or this is how, I, I'm like, damn, that is true. Like, this is how I do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Okay, so when you look at your, what we want to look at, when you look at your, we're not, I don't give a shit about your houses or any of that. I just want to look at, more so particularly, the elements. Um, because we're going to work with the elements to help with our healing right so i'm really big on like utilizing the earth element the water element stuff like that right so like we're talking about healing so you see that our, most of our videos are at the beach part of it is because i have nowhere else to record but to, 
is because, you know, it's healing, um, it's washing, it's cleansing. Like, I know I need a deep cleanse. I need a deep energetic cleanse. I want to cleanse so bad. Um, so, stuff like that, right? Um, how do I want to start? Oh, so, look at, so, go look at your birth chart and see how, see the elements, right? Um, in Catholic Astrology, soon as it pulls up your chart, it will show you, like, the list of, like, it'll start off with, like, a chart. Before it goes into, like, the description, it'll start off with a chart. It'll tell you, like, each, um, where, where, what signs are in each little planet, right? And then, at the bottom, it'll tell you how many elements you have. So, like, for me, I have four Earth placements, uh, four air, two water, two so for me when looking at that I could see how like I'm grounded in my free spiritedness right so I'm not like all air to where it's like I'm very fully into like being a free spirit kind of not like having having trouble um, settling down and stuff like that no for me it's like as long as like my home environment is stable and to be honest, if my finances are too, but particularly mainly my home environment, if that's stable, I can maneuver and be flexible with a whole, whole lot of different things. It allows me to create um, stuff like that. But if that's if there's no stability, I can't do innovative things, right? Um, and then I'm not really big. I'm not a really big emotional person in terms of like crying and like. You know, like there's people like every time around they crying, like this is not me. <laughs> Even though like lately it's just like the tears be like, cut, but it's more so in private um, compared to people who just be crying in front of Eric and everybody, right? Then um, what was I say? Oh, and then uh, fire. I don't really be like I got a smart ass mouth and like I be. I can't pop up, but like I'm not very aggressive um, and fiery and like extroverted and stuff like that, right? That would be consistent of like fire budget. So see what, how your elements are and kind of see like, okay, well what to you, your own interpretations of kind of like what earth means to you, what water means for you, what, you know, stuff like that. Um, so then when we're looking at our root chakra, I would say I want you to look at your Saturn, your North, your Saturn placement, your North Node, and your Mars placement. Um, so with Mars, Mars is about um, action. You know, Mars is very much about be about it, be about it, right? So for me, my Mars is in Gemini. So if with Gemini, it's about mental stimulation, right? It's all about the mind because that's what Gemini's are. They're very about the minds and stuff like that. So if I'm not working on a project, if my mind is not, if I'm not busy with something, I become very lazy, and then that's when I start to like create stuff for myself. Like it's gonna, I'm gonna get busy and fill my mind with something. So if it's not a project, it's gonna be end up being like pers interpersonal drama. Right? Um, I'm gonna create some, some something to do to get the energy movement moving right within my Mars placement. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's, um, your Saturn is about work, it's about how you, um, it's about the things like, yeah, it's, it's really is your work, your work, is <laughs> your work. Um, I have my brain, I'm like, this is a train of thought, but basically, yeah, Saturn is your, it's really just about what you, how you go about working, um, your work ethics, um, so on and so forth so like for me my saturn is in aquarius so for uh which i think saturn was going into a grave it was one moment where like saturn was in a grave i don't know if it still is or not i'm gonna be losing chat but like, i don't be really full of following all like, that when it comes like energy like day to day energies like i just feel like you, we should just flow instead of always trying to be in the know right um but i know that my saturn is in aquarius so like I really need, like, I, 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 I gotta really remember to re-look at it, but 
if I'm not mistaken, is more so about like how you navigate your life. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember what it is. I want to say is, um, I think it is work ethics. Like, someone's, I feel like I'm gonna just go off the, the top of the dome, but I, I could be wrong, and I might correct y'all when I correct myself when I go into the comments. Well, not in the comments, once I go into my caption description. Um, but I, I want to say it's like more like an entrepreneurial spirit of kind of like you know being innovative with your work uh, which goes hand in hand with my bars right because um, they're both air placements so they're both like I have the drive to do projects and then I have the wherewithal and the mindset and creative ideas from my Aquarius to actually come up with the idea for the project right so I'm not going to just do something for the fuck of doing it I'm not going to do something to have ass so because that's my Virgo <laughs> um, so yeah I would even say put your Jupiter in here. Um, my Jupiter is in Virgo. And I think that's where it goes with about like the precision about your work ethics and like the things that you work on and stuff like that. And then your North Node is your purpose, your life purpose, what you're meant, how you're meant to kind of like the thing that you're supposed to really like not do, but like what direction you're supposed to go in. So like my North Node is in Sagittarius. So with North Carolina Sagittarius is more so about me making sure that I do things that are of like learning, continue to gain knowledge and things. Um, yeah, really just acquiring more and more knowledge and teaching and stuff like that. So all of those, so all my projects and stuff like that in which I'm doing are based on my own teaching. That's just something that had naturally came from me, right? All my careers I came around are centered around teaching in some some aspect right and not um, the formal classroom teaching right like this me right now talking is teaching um me i was trying to go well i was trying to, try to be a lawyer but that's still kind of the sense teaching is lecturing is debating right um so stuff like that uh la, 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 la. So root chakra. So my biggest my biggest goal is that I really want to leave my my grandma's house, right? I really want to leave my grandma's house and move into my own space. My own space that is a peace. Move into my home. I have a beautiful home that I have like my dream home i have seen it i have picked it out and i just want to be there <laughs> i just want to be there um but again we're doing smart goals so realistically these just because i said it and i put the intention out there doesn't mean that it's just going to magically appear right and i think sometimes when you i know for me when i first started with spirituality and trying to understand magic and alchemy and and stuff like that people kind of made it seem like if you write it on a list say this is so believe it that it's so acting like it is so then it's gonna come but spirit be like no <laughs> no the fuck no okay yes you can ask ask and it shall be given but you have to prepare yourself you have to do the things to get yourself up there right so right now how am i having how am i having and like i have no income you know things that people would suffice for when you're looking at a home right you would think you would look at a home to have the you know you have the income so now you're looking for the home that 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 fits within your budget right but for me it's like well i bet you this is what this is this is the home this gorgeous home that i want uh, and so spirits i will so for us in the shot that's okay well let me so that is a very big change right and it's very drastic change but what are the things that and so the overall arching thing about it is that i need change that i want change and that i'm desiring change of my physical of my physical reality right i want the change in my physical reality so 
I have to do, I have to look at the things that I can change in this moment and change those and work on those, right? Instead of looking at just focusing on this one big thing and being defeated constantly because I'm not getting there or being patient because it's not coming and I'm just sitting there visualizing and like hoping for it, right? But that's not the way about it. So it's like, okay, I have this dream, I have this goal. I would love to attain it. If not, so what? I'm sure this will be something that is more suitable for me for whenever but so for me physically um, okay so I found a new location in which I wanted to record because sometimes coming to the beach is hard not hard but it's like training for me right and so I do want to do some more recordings in different also want to start doing much more serious taking my so for one career guys i want to take my youtube channel much more serious like yes i do these videos and i just kind of do the videos and i post them as is but there's so much more that i can do as far as like my intro like i can do better thumbnails for these right i can do better um better descriptions i can do i want to write more um you know i want to get my writings out more stuff like that and grow my career as a writer um yes i want to grow my career as a writer i want to grow my career as a youtuber i want to grow like those are the two like i still want to be a musician and stuff like that but for me personally i feel like my music is going to be later um I would love to go more as a as an artist, as a painter. Um, but right now, honestly, my home has made me not want to paint right now. Um, and that leads me next to family, right? The foundation in who in which the people physically that I'm surrounding myself around, right? So right now, so you know, I live in my grandma's house, right? Um, and typically my okay, so here's the thing. It's, it's really hard to gain peace there, right? It's not a place of peace. And the longer I stay there, the more my peace is taken, right? So like, when I first moved there in the wintertime, I would go outside. I would sit out on the porch, right? And go out, sit out and go out on the porch. Just, yeah, just sit and go out on the porch. And then I would try to like, if I could meditate, if I can, you know, just kind of have enjoy moments of silence because my grandma's window, which is right next to the porch, is typically usually closed. So all the chaos you hear, all the sounds you hear is inside the house compared to outside the house. So I would go outside the house and I would close the door and I would have like these moments of silence. And there's some videos that where I recorded, right? Like I recorded videos outside. Um, and that's what I was doing for a couple, for, for a little bit, right? Recording videos outside, having moments of transparency and honesty, right? Then, because that was a moment of silence. So then it started to get warmer. Once it had gotten warmer, my grandma started opening her way. So the chaos that was all inside starts to seep out into, <laughs> to outside. So then I was trying to navigate that, right? And that's when I started to go and kind of go to the beach a little bit more but also just trying to tune it out, play my own music, stuff like that. Then, more recently, over the last month, my neighbor, our next door neighbor, the fiance, her, his fiance got fired from her job. So now, she's home off a motherfucking day. <laughs> and so, not only do I get the sounds in one ear from my grandma, I get the sounds coming now from this ear from her. And she's always yelling at the dog, right? So she'll always be barking, like the dog be barking. She'd be yelling at the dog. Because the dog really just wants some attention. She's just a cutie. She just wants their attention and they're just not attentive to her, right? And they were like, you know, oh, when she finished getting all her shots, they'll take her walking and take her all do all these different things, take her hiking and so on and so forth. She has all her shots. They're still in the house. Like, 
Poor baby. Like, I feel so sorry for this dog, right? It's for me to all be telepathically talking. And like, just be like, bitch, I'm tired. And I'm like, bitch, me too. And like, we be trying to uplift each other to the point that like, the dog symptoms be my symptoms. Like, I, the fact that I got this on looking like a golden retriever, like, I really am a golden retriever. And every time, like, he reports, like, I don't know why he always reports to me, like, stuff that happened to the dog. And like, every time, I be like, that's happening to me too. Because <laughs> so, me and the dog is it's the same reward uh, and she just be wanting to sit outside in the sun that's all she wants to do and i be like girl same um <laughs> so yeah so she knows when i come outside like i could come outside and don't make no noise and she started walking and said i come outside and she's like i know she right here let me go talk to my homegirl not that i did come on <laughs> so that's really my only friend right now is the dog um i am so yeah so the so the girl has added to the extra and now like the, the there's the BB blasting and the that. So then I try to do at nighttime, right? Because I know nighttime my grandma and them is sleep. That's the only time like my house is quiet. Then while my house is quiet, their house is in. So they're loud. And she's she you know, before when she was going to work, they were like quiet. Like nighttime it wasn't happening today. Now it's just like Constantly, like every day, like it could be 2 a.m. Like one time I yeah, I couldn't sleep, so I was out up at 2 a.m. And so I was like, I'm gonna sit, sit outside for a little bit. I just need fresh air and I can't be tossing and turning while I'm in figure my head. And even then <laughs> they were like talking and all this stuff. Right? So I was like, instead of like and now I'm like irritated every time I see her, like I'm irritated. Cause you know i really don't <laughs> i really don't like her now like i have mixed emotions like sometimes i like her like she's not horrible but she's just not for me um and so i um uh, so i was just like this week i was like you know what instead of me getting like constantly irritated by my lack of quietness i'm going to start going out to this campus so last week i had rested all week and just kind of stayed in the house but the week before, I was going to, like, I stayed at, um, at USC's campus, and I was also, like, going to, like, museums and stuff like that. Um, I was going to, like, museums and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, I really enjoyed being around USC's campus. And now, graduation was last, the week before, so I was like, oh, perfect, you know, graduation's over, so campus isn't going to be crowded anymore so I could be so I was like my new routine now is I will try to be here and like come to the beach on Mondays and especially if I need to like record these videos or something like that I'll do that and maybe I'll do some recordings and I'll see how SC is and then I'll do maybe do some recordings at the Rose Garden because Rose Garden opens at 8 so they have like these little nice little kind of like little not homes but whatever um they have that so I'm going to be there she been planning for my, for my week, right? So changing up my routine now. Um, definitely changing up my routine, and I also want to get back into my physical body um, and do things for my physical body. I want to get more physical um, and more movement because I have so much energy like pent up inside of me, especially all that I'm absorbing all throughout the day, right? Next, I also want to be out because I want to stay out and be as much away from my family as much as possible, right? So my aunt, so both my aunts have been, have been pissed me off. <laughs> so my oldest aunt, which is, I don't know if I told you guys before, that she has autism, right? So she's a much higher functioning of autism. This bitch stole my paints. <laughs> stole, like, grabbed me blind of my paints to where, like, I only had, I had some, like, I had a lot of bottles um, I probably had like 10 bottles, right? Of different colors. Um, and I use them, you know, I get a, a new bottle if it's a different color that I use or something, right? And I do a lot of more, being into more fashion designing, so like painting like this and stuff like that. But this is with fabric paint, but like my jacket, my denim jacket, I've really been using paints for that, right? And trying to figure out how I want to like design that. Um, and it really does take a lot of paint. So, but like all my colors kept missing. I was just like, am I tripping? Like, am I losing them? Am I actually going away from my bag? Like, what's happening? 
Yeah. This little bitch been taking them. Like she took them, and I probably had like a good like ten of them, and it kept dwindling. And then till last week, there was only one, in, like just about empty purple. It was like there were three that I had had that was in another bag, so it wasn't in the bag that I typically had. And then it was um. Uh, yeah, I had those three, so she didn't see those. So it was like only one other one, and then I had like maybe two little ones left in my bag. Like the bag was empty by the time. <laughs> and mind you, I keep them in the living room because my other aunt, <laughs> for some reason, it bothers her. It bothers her, like my stuff in her room bothers her. But it's like, she literally only gives me like this little, set, loose, this little, split, I literally don't actually I don't have space she didn't give me space I had to like create space for myself right and so my mom had bought me so my aunt has tons of drawers and dressers and stuff like that that she didn't like make no space whatsoever like she could have just had one little section she could have been like this is for you so my mom was the one who was nice enough because my aunt was bitching about my clothes and I was just living out of my backpack my mom was nice enough to give me um those little cheap uh little three drawer plastic three drawer thing that you just pull and you just put in so she gave me that which still is not even like it's not that it's not not enough space it's just that like it's not enough for me to be organized so it's like because i'm a, like burgers we're not messy like we're messy but we like our messiness is usually due to the lack of organization so once we have an organization and a, a system and a place to put everything that we need pretty much everything stays clean um with the exception of clothes like i just hate i don't know i just hate the process of hanging up clothes i just <laughs> i hate it so so that i'm gonna like take this off and i might put it on the floor like that i will do like that is my that's my that's my toxic trick but so mind you she's not a neat freak she's not a neat freak her room is not neat her room is not organized her room is cluttered mess right but for her out of sight out of mind if she doesn't see her mess it's fine like as long as like you know how some how people are like their physical appearance looks really great but inside they're chaotic so she's kind of like that right like it might be like cleared space but it's not organized so like the, 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 the i want to show you guys i'm going to show you like i'm just going to have to make this video so you can understand what i mean so like her closet is filled to the brim it's of clothes that she doesn't even wear so she's constantly buying clothes that she doesn't wear so so then she told me you she told me when i moved in that it, you know i'm welcome to her clothes right like i can wear her clothes so then as soon as i put on like that and it don't even be like i don't wear any of her like dressy clothes i don't wear any of her dress up stuff i literally find stuff that i know she does not wear so i will find like some old shorts that she had to just wear around the house an old sweater um that's pretty much how I really took and maybe like no not even like it I took from her it was just like I has she has some like champion shorts that I wore and then sometimes she has like these like muscle muscle pop top like sweatshirts I had I'll put that mind you she does not wear any of these things like mind you I had to like dig and find like I just like down them in the mess of her clumsy right and it's then when I wear it she'd be like oh See wearing my clothes but it's like did you, did you just give me permission so now moving forward now that i finally got clothes of my own and bought clothes of my own but honestly this is hers too but i mean i have been um getting out of wearing her stuff right so i'm putting so it was just another idea for myself is to start taking the clothes that is, that's hers and putting it back into her closet, not touching them and only wearing the clothes that are mine. So she had a problem with my paint stuff. Like I just had, a, had them in the corner, I had my canvases and stuff in a corner and she had a problem with them. So she moved them to the living room, but she was like, all right, whatever, right? And then my mom had bought me, cause I asked my mom, I was like, can I get like a good, like a big container a big like storage container so I could put my paints in but then she so <laughs> my patience so instead of like 
identity stuff bad. Like my intentions are for things that I could grab and go, right? So my mom instead gives me like this big ass, like industrial ass, like storage container that even though like <laughs> it, it's like it's a nuisance, but also it, it helps, right? So I have put my paints in there. So I put my paints in there. I have put some like canvas boards in there. And my aunt, my other aunt, has been taking them. Mind you, she is in a part of a program that every week gets her art supplies. Every week they give her a shit ton of paints. She gets these other markers and they give her sketchbooks and they give her canvases. We pay her twenty dollars. And then she has another program that takes her out and she goes, she, she decides where she wants to go. So sometimes she can go to Michael's if she wanna to go to Michael's, she can go to the nice store if she wanna go there. All the things that be for her to not take up. I, I, and then I told her, I said, you know, you could have asked. I would have gave it to you. Because I'm very giving. Like, I'll just give it to her. And I'm always advocating for them to get her more art supplies. Or, you know, like, if she wants some paints or she wants some more, all she had to do was just tell me. And I'll be like, all right. So, you know, when I tell my mom, and I'll just run, you know, run where what I, the, the bitchiness that my mom does. Anyways, right? So then my mom and them, I asked them, like, you know, because they go to Walmart. So, mind you, I don't like Walmart paint. I really like Michael's paint. And. I like better quality paint, right? But I know my situation right now, and beggars can't be true. So my mom and them, pretty much every week, that's their part of their little routine or whatever, is going to Walmart. So when they go to Walmart, I'm like, hey, can you pick me up some paint? The bottom of the paint be like a dollar, two dollars. You know, the little ones be like 60 cents. Like, they're not costly, right? So sometimes I'm like, just want three colors. And there's one time the big so I could do enough paint, right? And especially because earlier in the months, I was using the paints as therapy, trying to kind of process my emotions because, you know, it was just chaotic, right? And I also felt inspired because the person I was fucking on was a painter. And, like, he was just, like, my muse and, like, my inspiration for painting. Like, every time, and I love, I love looking at his paints. Like, I love looking at his art. So, I would go on his Instagram, not necessarily looking for him. I was looking at his art, right, and seeing what he does. And I just get inspired and it just, it helps me go until he blocked me. And now it's like, I just don't have the desire anymore to paint. <laughs> like, like it, but I've been having the desire to draw and write. So that's different. Um, but we're about to go to the I know I just like ramble. I guess I'm gonna like do these individuals, individually, uh, the shoppers. I don't know. Um, so she, she stole all my paints and cleared it out. And then I, when I confronted her about it, she lied and said, I didn't take any. And I was like, who else is gonna take them? And then she was like, I only had these. And these were the, the, she gave me the last, the three bottles, which were the last ones that I had just bought not that long ago, right? And mind you, before when I had thought, remember how I had thought I was, so remember how I had made the video of me and being in the wilderness? That was me and I had wrote a note and told my camera, like, I'm moving. I was like, fucking, I'm in this camp. Right? Um, at that time, I had gave her a shit ton of paints. Um, I never showed a shit ton. I'm like, here, you can have this. So I guess from there, she just thought she had free range with them, but she knew she was being sneaky because she knew she, I'm at home. I'm not like I'm not at home and she needed to paint and she just needed, you know, she had an ex. Um, and so that really pissed me off too. And so I was just like, you know what, since every, and then my other aunt, no matter what, when I'm painting, she has an attitude about it. Like she just feels some type of way about it, right? All we have to say is some smart remark about it. So with all these three little bitches, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just not gonna paint until I'm in a in a better environment to where I can and where I can have a station. Because sometimes I don't want to. It, it's also taxing having to like take your stuff, take it out, let it do all this stuff, take stuff down, rest. Before if I'm in the middle of a project. I like to like leave it out so that I could go back and look at it. Cause you know you have to like look and then like walk away. Like even if I'm not necessarily going to do anything with it, I like to look at it so I can get to the idea and the remembrance that I have this project. And just to have the idea like, okay, I didn't finish this. This is why I want to add to it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Stuff like that. Or I could add as I go or, you know, stuff like that. Whereas having to put it away, I'm going to forget that I didn't even really complete the, the canvas, you know? Um, and so I just run away until I'm able to have a paint station, uh, be somewhere where move to a, to a place where I can like freely paint and not have people constantly make a remark to me. It's just like, they all just like killed my, and I was trying not to let them kill it, but then I was like, you know what, 
for my own peace, I'd rather me stop and and re-navigate into another realm of artistry than to be irritated, right? Uh, and I keep asking for large canvases. Nobody wants to give me large canvases. If I ask to go to Michael, like to take me to Michael's, it's a bitch about it. Um, and there's no access to it for me um, through the trains because you know I'm not driving. So from the train, there's there's like no Michaels. Um, there's one somewhere on like Bundy or something like that, but it's still pretty like a mission when it comes to like walking in, especially if you have like my eyes and stuff like that. Whereas when I lived in Downey, I walked to Michaels. I was walking to Michaels, I was walking to Walmart, and they both had like great things for me to be able to like, okay, like Michaels had a sale. If I have money, I'll go and I'll stock up on my paints and stuff like that. Um, it's almost important. So I'm just like, you know, I'll wait and then I don't, I want to invest better into my art, invest better and not be so cheap with it anyways. And I don't want to use the cheap paint. And I also want to like paint on my face and stuff like that. So I want to be mindful of not putting like cheap paint that has, maybe has like toxic chemicals in it. Um, I'm a bunny. So I was like, you know what? Let me just wait. Um, so my root shopper goals, like I said, I want to be a better YouTuber, a better writer, and a better, yeah, I'm just going to stay, stick to those two. I also want to change up my routine and make sure that I, to stay out of the house and move on to something. USC is like two blocks away, not two blocks, but like two train stops away. I am alumni, so I can, I have full access to it. I also want to like look into like their libraries and stuff like that and just work there. And it's better for me to have better discipline. Um, when I'm not at home, like I, I just write better when I'm at SC. Like I, I already have that routine and that habit of writing there. So I want to continue to just do that instead of being at home trying to write and possibly being interrupted with my thoughts or not being able to like fully get into the writing zone or the work zone altogether, right? Next, I also want to get into physical movement, right? Because I told you guys, I've just been when I'm home, it's all the like I literally have to see like all the energy kind of like absorb in me. I hear this woman yell every day about her legs hurting to where now my knees hurt. I hear them complain, like you know, all these complaints, all this yelling, it's like knots, it's like knots all up and down my spine. Um, because my body and my nervous system is constantly in fight or flight. So the root chakra is also about addictions, right? So we constantly do things to ease trauma, right? So for me, smoking has been a thing of like, okay, it helps my body kind of like relax. I don't, like I told y'all before, I don't like smoking. I don't like getting high anymore. I don't even want to be high, especially not in that environment. It's not safe spiritually, physically, emotionally, all that to be high. Um, and so I want to stop, but then if I'm constantly here and yelling, it tenses up my body to where I'm like, I need to smoke, right? So, in order to not have all of that, I need to physically leave the house. And sometimes the commute to the beach is just as taxing as staying in the house, honestly. Um, and so I decided to, to do the reverse and just be on campus, right? Because to me, the safest place in LA to me is the college campus, um, particularly USC's college campus, because there's a lot of security, there's a lot of police, there's a lot of people monitoring, you know, stuff like that. And it's just quiet, especially now that they're not in school right now. So it's not that chaotic energy too, because sometimes that too is chaotic. Um, just, uh, just a bunch of stressful ass kids, uh, teen, I'm not kids, but you know, young adults. So then, um, so yeah, so that's gonna be my root chakra goals is just to, to start going to SE. Oh, so I said I wanted to have physical movement. So I want to, so USC has a track and field, right? That the, it has opened up to the public. I want to, because I want to get into working out because working out helps me cope and deal with anger. Um, if not, anger will stay in my body and manifest into an illness um, or, or something, right? Uh, or it, it's, it leads to me exploding. So to keep, I, my goal is just to stay out of trouble as much as possible and stay away from people also, right? So I don't want to get caught up in none of these people. You know, you have to be mindful and you have to know the people you're around, right? And who are in your community, not your community, but like who's in your surrounding. So that's why I told you to be very honest about your family, your friends, stuff like that. I was this close to about to force myself into another friendship. Um, with this girl that I used to know, like we met through like Instagram or something like that, and we were vibing. Like I think that she's sweet, 
confident and she's cool, but I know that she's not the friend for me. And I know that I don't really want to be friends with her. And I and it bothers me that I don't want to be friends with her because I'm like, she's so nice. Why would I, why would I not want to be? But that's always usually what happens to me. I see somebody, I'm like, they're so nice. And even though I have zero desire to be friends with them, I'm like, I force myself because I'm like, well, why would you? And then later on, to be able to see like their mannerisms isn't what I want. And I, to be honest, I just think that she's exhausting. <laughs> you know, like, it's exhausting for me to like message her. Sometimes I see your notification, I'm like, girl, okay, like today I need a break. Like, it's so. I also, um, oh, I'm gonna do that in my time. So let's go to sacro, emotionally. So like I told you, I need to get out of this anger, uh, out of my sadness, I need to get out of, um, I just need to get out of the house and out of that funk, right? Um, out of the, the energy of stagnancy and all that and really going into pursuing my passion. Now, we're in Gemini season now, so this is the perfect time to do it all. Um, especially with when it comes to writing and it comes to, um, organization but then it comes to really feeding into my projects and stuff like that remember my mars is in gemini so my mars is about mars is about action so for me tomorrow starting tuesday which is mars day i will be start initiating starting my new routine and also getting more thorough into my projects it'll allow me to go around and take pictures and stuff like that um and i yeah so before my I like to use, I used to love using Instagram as um, an artistic expression, um, as a means for me to, uh, as a means for me to, what do I say? Oh yes, yeah, so as a means for me to like, kind of like look at things and also just kind of like honoring myself, right? But then I was like, why am I putting so much energy into Instagram that irritates me, right? I hate the app. It makes me very anxious. Um, it puts too much into my head. It makes me overthink, you know, because you're constantly looking at things that you're maybe not want to look at right now. So like, I'm constantly confronted with like trauma stuff. Like I'm trying to get out, move out of the phase of like being angry, being angry at like family, being angry at my mom and them, and more into kind of like accepting and into my acceptance phase. Like I am in my acceptance phase of my healing, right? So kind of accepting people for who they are and accepting the fact that we can't intermingle like that, right? So, but then when I go on Instagram, I go on an explore page or I go on somebody's post or something like that or look at their story or whatever, uh, they might post something about trauma with mamas and stuff like that, right? And then it triggers a, a memory. Then I have to go through the whole process of reminding myself not to be angry at her. We already went through all this stuff, right? Um, or psychic stuff. I'm trying to get over a heartbreak. I'm trying to get over and accept the fact that I I, I got play. I just accept the play. I just accept it. Like I was putting myself, in. I was pouring into a dead end situation, right? And romanticize and get in romanticizing something that romanticizing romanticizing disrespect, right? also trying to cope and get over the heartbreak of it trying because I, I i at the end of the day i really like that person and i can't be mad at myself for the feelings that i felt right and so accepting the fact that you know what you lost one again right <laughs> you know just okay whatever and trying to get over that whereas when i go on instagram to my explore page it's constant it's those constant twin flame readings and a constant like they have regret they're coming back Da, 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 da. So it's kind of like leaving the door cracked for somebody to come back in who doesn't need, who needs to, who deserves to have this shut in their fucking face, right? So, yeah. So I deactivated my Instagram. I know that I had said that I was going to do that. I had a diagnosing video on there where I had really broke down the DSM. I might. I'm just going to just redo it. Um, and instead i'll break it down within the chakras so i won't bombard you with all these all this information on all these mental illnesses i'll incorporate them for where they fit within each chakra it'll be much better that way um so you won't have access to that video those videos right um, because i'm i instead of putting my energy unnecessarily and being drained from instagram i'd rather pour more and more into my youtube um and stuff like that I want to dance more. I want to dance more. So I applied to SMC Summer 
the summer courses so that I could just take the train there um, and take their dance classes uh, that starts at the end of June. Um, so hopefully everything works out and I'm able to take it because I want to get back into training, just get back into my room refresher of the trainings that I did with dance and getting my body back into the flexibility that I want. Because realistically and honestly, and with me really honest with myself, I don't have the I don't have the um, the wherewithal or the the discipline to push myself the way I can be pushed in dance class, right? Um, I know all the like the stretches and all the stuff that I I can do and the exercises that I can do, but it's not fun unless it's in a dance class and it's not really conducive with the ground that's um, that's at the house. Like my grandma's, like she has no like nowhere if there's carpet. It's like all tile, and then when you go outside, it's still the same. And they have like ridges and stuff like that. So even if I wanted to do like pointing toes or you know stuff like that, it causes more injury than it does, um, you know, helping with strength. So I do want to, so I want to get into the dance class and stuff like that. Um, so I have made the moves to like try to initiate that. And then I just said, I just wanted to become like a runner. I've been, that's been the one thing like I have just been desiring is to run and become a runner. And it's honestly, I've been trying to run from all my situations. Why am I not physically running? So that I could be As far as my sacral chakra, that is sac I did sacral. Um, oh, as, and sexually, I'm going back celibate. The the pussy is boarded up. No, I don't. Uh, I don't mind going out and dates and stuff like that and talking to different guys, but I'm not taking anybody seriously at the moment. Nor am I opening myself up to be on this moment. I, my pussy is going on a cleanse when I detox. She needs it much. Just, she really needs it. Like I, I'm too fragile right now to even have another lover. Um, honestly, I, yeah. Um, so then now the solar plexus. So then we talked about like I just don't be comfortable in my body. I don't be comfortable. Like I'm not right now comfortable in my body in, in the way that I look right now or the way that I feel. But this is all about consumption and the things that I am consuming, right? So I'm doing less. I'm cutting. I'm going to be cutting out on podcasts. I'm not going to be listening to people's podcasts anymore, um, or even like the paper card, like tarot readings. That sometimes that I like to watch. Um, I'm changing with the foods that I consume, and we'll be changing now that it's summertime. It's the season for fruits, and it's really good fruits and vegetables. So I want to go back into going back into plant-based eating. Um, which will be much easier because if I say I'm on. So whether I'm here going to the beach or whether I'm going to or it's, um, whether I'm going towards staying at SC, I can go to Trader Joe's. Um, Trader Joe's is right there on the village. So I could grab a salad and come back or I could eat a salad at SC, whatever. But fruits and stuff like that. Like, I, And then I also said that I'm not going to do grocery shopping like that, right? So like, you know how like, Usually, sorry, I've gotten this from my family. Maybe just because I've just, I've always been shop, shopping with my family that I got to the habit of getting way more than I need and wasting a lot. And so I was like, you know what? And I'm also not going to be shopping for them anymore. They have their own things. So I am separating myself from like more of the responsibilities that my family is trying to place on me, right? So I'm not even going to be like grocery shopping or even cooking nearly as much for them. Um, instead, I'm going to be like grabbing individual salads or grabbing like one fruit. Like I really want to like honeydew should, cantaloupe should be back in season. So I want to eat that. I want to eat like water-based stuff, right? To fill me up. I want to change the way that I, so I, it will change, it will act within itself when would change my emotions too, right? Because a lot of the aggression also is me eating um, and the foods that I'm eating. Um, yeah, so I, and once I get better in that and being active, I know that I will feel much more, um, much more confident in myself. And I know I want to be more in front of the camera more. That's another career goal. So for me, being more in the camera, you have to be com comfortable and confident within your body to do so. So. I also got me some uh, some herbs and stuff. I bought that should be coming in the mail today. Um, some wheatgrass, and then I have moringa um, and spirulina. 
um, already at the house. So I'm going to start getting back into my supplements um, and replenishing my body because it really is like dehydrated. It's um, deprived of like different minerals and stuff that it needs. So I'm gonna be making sure that um, that happens as well and that I'm consuming much more, less processed foods. I'm getting out of processed foods again because it's just not, it's just not giving what it's giving. And I also don't like it. I don't like the food. <laughs> I don't like the food. So that's that. Um, and I hate my hands cooking. Oh. Oh, she just moves too fast for it, right? And then with her, she has such a busy body and such a busy energy that you're consuming that because she's cooking, right? So it's all her energy being able, you know, if you think about it, cooking is alchemy. Cook, cooking is like doing magic, right? So it's her and it's energy work. It's her energy that's being really poured into that, right? Um, I'm also not going to need to be. I want to, so I like wine and I've been more so into red wines, especially because it tastes nasty, so it, it's easier to, it takes longer to drink. Um, but I'm really, like I said, like no more consumption of like weed and alcohol and I want to be out the house so that I'm not tempted to do it. And so like, I want to get, go back and be back in the house around seven so like I could be like, take a shower and go to sleep, you know, or some shit like that or like, be there in the evening to where it's like wind down time anyways like usually like a real big craving for weed and stuff is around like between the hours of two two and six <laughs> but once i like pass that phase around seven o'clock i'm good i don't be needed like if i didn't do it by then i don't, I don't be really wanting to do it by that um where are we my heart um i'm going to be less i'm pulling back my heart um, and so it's not that I'm changing it. It's not that I'm boarding it up. It's just that I'm change, I'm pouring into me, and I'm really just. It's really just about me and spending time with me. Um, of course, if I meet people that I connect with, absolutely. I also said that the only people that I, I would give energy to are the people that are me, that are kind of like pushed to the side by society. So like people who be on the streets talking to themselves, homeless people. Like I've been talking more and more to like crackheads and stuff like that. I'm not talking to crackheads. I just they're just great people. Like they really are. They're just amazing people who just went through life. You know. Um, I honestly, to me, you know how people call like people on the streets and stuff crazy. Honestly, those aren't the crazy people. To me, the crazy motherfuckers is is like the people that work a regular nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> not saying that you work in a night five it makes you crazy but it's my mama and him it's <laughs> it's my next door neighbor it's you know it's the people who say that they got it like the doctors it's you know it's it's, 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 it's y'all that i'm probably crazy like y'all the people that i'm trying to say clear away from because y'all intentions are so impure um compared to people who are just kind of like outcasted out from society i like them better um they have much more, they say more like real shit. I mean, the zoo today, I was at the train station. It was funny, it was really cool. So the train station is today. So I was at the train station, uh, waiting, whatever. And one bus came and I was like, fuck it, I was just waiting for the next bus. I mean, the next train, because this shit is too crowded. Uh, but it ended up being crowded anyway. But I was, this guy, he was like, I was all irritated because he came over there smoking. But then I was like, all right, whatever. And then he was like, and then this other dude, this Hispanic dude, <laughs> skateboarding, was skateboarding. He asked the dude, oh, like, do you have an, another one, an extra one? He was like, nah. And I was thinking in my head, like, you know, then when you got, you got an extra cigarette, like, don't be like this, share. I said that in my head. And then, so then he started, then he flicked his cigarette. It was so late, he flicked the cigarette to the train track. So I was looking like, is that somebody catch on fire? So he, he looked at me, looked at it. And then he was like, good morning. And I was like, good morning. And then he found a cross in the middle of the, it was like this little cute small cross in the middle of the, the track. He was like, is that a cross? I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah that's a cross. I don't know, people, I think that really. And then we were just chit chatting and we just started talking or whatever, whatever. And then he was just saying some real shit. He was saying like they be shooting over there on like West Adams and shit like that. And, and by this time, I don't know if he's talking to me or he's talking to himself or he's talking on the phone or he's talking to all three of us, right? Because he sometimes looking at me, so I'm like, so I'm not looking, looking, listening. 
But then I just didn't respond because he kept going. So I was just like, whatever. I'm just, maybe he's not talking to me, but I'm listening. Anyway, but he was just saying some real shit. He was like, you know, it's us killing us. And he was like, you know, once we start killing us, we'll everybody else will follow suit and i really think about that like you know even though sometimes we'd be like no nah, that's bullshit like we can't be bringing up black on black crime but low-key like that's some real shit like we black people are such trendsetters for everything like everybody follows suit with everything that we do like you look at trends on instagram or fashion or music or whatever the case may be everybody is trying to follow suit so if we're over here follow if we start the trend of niceness and kindness and love and compassion for one another it will follow suit you know what I mean? Like, the reason why black women are disrespected is because black men disrespect us. So then once they disrespect us, everybody else thinks that they could disrespect us. And that's why I'm really pissed off about this whole Caribbean nigga. Because it's like, at the end of the motherfucking day, first of all, you're not black. Like, don't fucking disrespect. Like, <laughs> not saying that, like, only black men can disrespect me. But it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like, as a black, like, it's an honor to be with a black woman. Especially if you're outside of your race. Because, you know, we're typically known to not date outside of our race. So once you're, we open ourselves to dating outside of our race, you should, be, you should be treating us like royalty because we gave you the time of day to be graced by our presence. At least with them niggas, like, at least with them, they're, they're used to the energy because they got it in, within themselves. So they don't, they don't really see the value of it because it's like, oh, well, I got that shit too, bitch. <laughs> so, you know, like, they share the shit that we share, right? But then from the other motherfuckers, it's like, you don't have the, the full just a quad like we do. Like, you know what I mean? And then it's just like, you can't have locks and break my heart. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they're like, why two of those people were, were trying to take but you can't. It's, it's a rule. It's a rule. You're going to be outside your race and you're going to do our culture, cultural hairstyles. You can't break my heart. You should supposed to be the one who... <laughs> Who loves me the most? <laughs> Here nor there. Um, but yeah, so that's what I want to do with the consumption. And I know that my confidence will be much better from that. Because pretty much other than that, like I'm really so sure to myself. I'm very, I know what I bring. I know what, what I embody. I know what comes with me. Um, I know that I'm the shit. I really enjoy me. I really enjoy, I feel like people need to respect me more. Um, and so on and so forth right um and i've noticed that like people who are around me don't take me seriously and don't respect me right so they kind of rather dismiss me than to take my wisdom and it's not that i'll be trying to give unsolicited advice because i don't want to talk as it is right um it's just more so just kind of like if i do say some shit listen or you know don't try to make it seem like i don't know what i feel like talking about or don't be trying to make it seem like i'm fucking crazy you know what i mean or some shit which they like to do because they hate me <laughs> haters gonna hate me. <laughs> but i also don't want to be consumed with worrying about not negativity but more so of like what other people are trying to plot against me right because then it, it becomes chaos it creates chaos and unsettlement within me rather than just kind of like you know what i am protected from all weapons that are formed instead of trying to figure out what weapons is being formed against me. you know what i mean and just be like you know what it's not gonna prosper so it doesn't even matter if i know what the weapon is at the end of the day you know what i mean like why worry about a well why worry about a gun that ain't got no bullets in it you know what i mean like you're not gonna be able to shoot me in the head so even if you raise it up to my head it doesn't matter you ain't got no bullets to, to go to for it to penetrate. Um, next is oh, so yeah, so with the heart, I'm just going to be. I really enjoy my own company. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it more, and I want to create more moments for it. I would love to start taking trips, maybe like go down to like San Diego or something like that too. Once um, so when this EBT money come, I'll probably just take me like a nice little day trip or something to San Diego, and then I come back, stuff like that. Um, next, my throat. Throat chakra, I want to do commu or communication, more boundary setting, of course. Saying no to more things. I want to have the goal of saying more, no to more things. Um, I also want to, um, yes, yeah, so I'm communicating more, so which will mean I'll be writing. Because I said I wanted to do writing, right? And I want to take myself serious, more seriously as a writer and grow my career and my professional career as a writer and write more. So I already completed a poetry book. Um, I just did that earlier this month. Um, but I want to get into more like essays and posting more on my Medium blog. 
Um, and then I also have a book idea, like an actual novel idea that I want to start writing. Um, stuff like that, like just getting into like reading and writing. I was reading at first, like I've been like enthralled into a book. But aside from like my spiritual books, I kind of want to stay away from like fantasies and stuff until I finish writing. Um, and so it's just a better, it's just the best time to start is Gemini season, you know, um, with the ghost chakra. Uh, and then yes, just setting more boundaries, saying no, um, speaking up more for myself in a less like combative way. I also want to make sure that I'm not, um, adding to drama or adding to gossip so i want to not engage in like conversations that will necessarily set me up right so for instance when i talk to my mom like my mom calls me right and honestly i hate when she calls me it's just like a dread i just look like do do i want to talk to her now there is one week out of the month where i do be like okay i could have a conversation with her and then i should be oh and it might be funny and it might be cool but then other than that it's just like i'm over it so i want to make sure that i'm not because when i do talk to her on the phone then she wants to talk more talk about my auntie she wants to complain she wants to you know stuff like that and i don't know what she's saying that i'm saying when she's talking to my auntie right so i'm just like i don't even want any of y'all to say that i'm saying something and then the same thing with my aunt with her like like the other day the other day so she has this so my aunt has this theory that my neighbor has a question so her neighbor has a crush on me so she thinks that my neighbor has a crush on me and that his girlfriend his fiance hates me <laughs> and i don't i don't get that vibe i just think like he's a cool dude like i don't think i don't get the vibe that he likes me i think he's just like a cool dude he's just being like a friendly neighbor he talks to everybody um and i just think that she just has an attitude problem and it's just not necessarily directed towards me personally right because sometimes she talks and sometimes she will come over like i could tell like she wants to be my friend like she wants to be my friend to, because i'm a mystery but she doesn't really want to be my friend and then i'm just kind of like girl we don't have nothing in common so we wouldn't even work as friends right but the other day i was so tired of her i told my auntie i was saying it as a joke like i was like I, he don't get tired of her i was like he don't get tired of her because i'm tired of her and now that she's off but then my aunt took it you know ran with it right like she was just like oh yeah she she's gonna get tired they're gonna break up they're gonna die they're gonna be fighting she probably calls him thousands of times like she was going like and you and what i noticed is that you cannot you cannot feed you can call ladybug you cannot feed a gossiper like you know what i mean like if a gossiper loves gossip and they thrive off of gossip you cannot give them meat for gossip because then it doesn't stop and now she just doesn't stop and i'm just like i just wanted to make that one joke <laughs> like, I just wanted to make that one joke. That's it. And that's just sometimes with my mom. Like sometimes I just wanted to make that. Like it was just a funny joke, and I just wanted to make the joke um, about my auntie. And you're taking it to a much more, more personal because you have personal feelings that you're not expressing to your sister. Uh, and so it goes like way left real fast. You know what I mean? So with those people, you you just keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut, and don't be saying things that you know that is unnecessary. Um, just throw. So I want to like not yet even with my grandma I don't even want to go in there and talk to her because even her like as soon as I go in there she started trying to tell me somebody business and it's like I don't care that like, my auntie started to gossip about like somebody else my uh, husband cheating in. and like you can hear the joy in their voice when they're gossiping about people's pain like you could share it but like it's weird when you have like this joy in your voice about like them going through shit and people only want to ever share the bad news about people and it's never the good like i'd rather hear some good shit like tell me good news that is happening to folks is there some good stuff happening you know stuff like that and then when they do show you the good stuff it first of all it'd be stuff like why are you it's because you really went and lurked well, i don't know why you did but also it'd be like oh such a day, da, da, da. but then when it's like oh such a graduated from school but when it's like something say they went to jail they were like bitch i'm like they was hell blah, 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 blah. but when they graduated from school they don't give like the good stuff about that you know so then let's move where are we at though let's go to the third eye so the third eye with my intuition i want to so what i did was throw away my oracle cards and i only kept two oracle cards this divine abundance one and i kept my gratitude one um because those are the two that i use the least first of all but they give wisdom rather than um 
you know, like it's a quote and then we could go from that quote and then talk about it from a discussion like that compared to me. I didn't want, I don't want to, even for myself, I don't want to give myself or you broken promises, right? So I don't want you anticipating for something that may not even happen because I'm over here trying to read and I, I feel like I'm guessing when I'm, when I'm using the work of sometimes, but you know, I don't want to be, I'm not trying to hear to tell you like, oh, abundance is coming, wealth is coming yada 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 it's coming like i'm here for more so like a, an encouraging message rather than trying to tell you some shit right because i was looking at like tarot readers and shit and i'm like okay like if people thrive off of certain messages what makes us think that they're not telling the truth because yeah, so people lie so fucking much nowadays it's like i read like why are you constantly like every every other message every other video you have is success is coming large sums of money is coming um abundance is coming new love is coming stuff that really people really are looking at right the things that people really desire is money and love right so if they're kind of constantly telling you that it's coming you kind of want to watch more of their videos kind of like is it still coming what's it going to look like so on and so forth instead of just kind of going with the flow oh that's and the thing that says flow the first part that i had pulled out was flow but instead of going with the, just the flow of, instead of like, I don't need to know everything. I just trust spirit, right? So I want to get out of like, that habit of using divinations too much. Um, I don't, you know, spirit, usually divinations back in the day was you go to a healer, who you go to a seer or something like that. Um, and they will tell you like, kind of more so like on the lines of like, not only that if your passion or like something is happening, you need to know like the energy behind that incident, right? So I remember reading one book and he was saying that he went to the divination to find out like what, like he went to a diviner and the diviner told him like after the car accident that he had like, oh, the accident was due to your ancestors and your spirit guides because you were about to intervene. So they told information that he needed to know. So then he learned, okay, let me not intervene with people's karma, you know, stuff like that, right? And that's what happened compared to we be like, going to divination and they're saying oh you got to have a car accident but they don't know why you got to have a car accident so now you have this fear or them constantly like oh you got enemies or people's plotting against you and stuff like that like that creates more havoc than it does good right and more good more harm than good so now you're paranoid you're trying to make um unrational decisions about something because somebody who has some cars about some shit and honestly it's about their their experience and their interpretations right so if I, there's a reader and she's a messy bitch and she's all around messy people and she's around gangsters and strippers and and killers her readings are going to be centered around that right it's going to be centered around somebody trying to shoot you up or somebody going to jail for this and that and the third or stuff like that you know what i mean whereas that might not be your environment that might not even be your situation um you just chip so we just want to be mindful of like of kind of like those broken promises too but also it i don't know to, for me i don't need to know i just rather just go flow of life right well, and in spirit, if i need to know something spirit would tell me and i want to get back into the habit of listening to my intuition like lately it has been something as simple as like i want to take my shower and spirit will be like i'll take a shower and i'm like okay i'm gonna take my shower and spirit will be like go in the bathroom right now but i'll be like but wait, I just want to look at this video and let me go take a shit or let me do this and that and the third, right? And then I delay maybe one minute, two minutes. And as I'm about to go down, my cousin goes in there and spends three hours in the shower. So, <laughs> and I don't understand. He be in there for two hours, like literally two hours. And he comes out looking the same. <laughs> there don't be no glow. There don't be no nothing. <laughs> I'm just like, what are you in there doing? <laughs> so, so yeah. So it's just like it's just as simple as that. As like, go here, go there. Don't go there today. Stay home today, or go inside. I want those type of things in building with spirit rather than me pulling cards. Like spirit, what's the energy for this week? I already know I need to relax. <laughs> I already know I need to rest. My body will tell me. My body is going to tell me like, you know what? Sit down today. I don't need to know why I need to sit down. I'm just gonna sit down and then it exposes itself it will expose itself in due time right but i don't want to put myself into anticipation or into fear so i just want to be in a flow so i threw away them on and if i just need a, a message of encouragement from spirit then i would 
cool about one of these cards. I do want to also get the Baga, the Bhagavad Gita cards again because I haven't returned them, but I want to get them back again just so that even though I'm reading this, I also want to have it there just so that we can like just see wisdom and like sage um, knowledge and stuff like that rather than me trying to predict stuff like that and it also brings negative energy um that energy is just the wrong type of energy when it comes to the audience in which i want i don't want people who because i notice that people who um like the people who like tarot and stuff like that a lot of time their audiences are rude and they're kind of like codependent upon them i don't want people being codependent upon me like this this whole youtube channel is not for you to be codependent it is for you to have self-sufficiency whether that is with your emotions or with your situation and stuff like that and how do you utilize spirit during these times so yeah so i threw those away and i'm just going to be relying just really on my instincts and discernment and just kind of going to flow like if something feels doesn't feel right i'm not going to do it if something says go somewhere else i'm going to do it instead of putting seeds into my head right and the same with like i'm not really I'm not interested in love right now. I'm not even interested in friendship right now. I really genuinely am only interested in myself. Um, and not in a like a self absorbed way, but just I'm just really interested in doing what I need to do to improve my situation, to improve myself, and not bringing people in their chaos into my shit, right? You know? I don't care about your problems right now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about anybody's problems. I'm not in the space to really pour into a relationship. I'm not really in the space to pour into a friendship. And I'm realizing that friendships are relationships that, like, I'm really not, like, unless you're, like, really fun and you're really about experiences, like, I'm really down for a friend that is about, like, wanting to do stuff, but I'm not about a friend who's, like, just want to talk. No, bitch. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just, I don't care. Like, this is supposed to be our moment of time to, to get, take a break from the hustle and bustles of everything and just kind of have some fun, be childlike. I want friends that are childish. Like, you know, like, childlike that just wants to go have like childish like inner child fun like we're working on an inner child we might go into an amusement park and just being crazy face painting ourselves you know putting face on our face painting and then going out we're getting designing costumes painting together like just genuinely just having a great time and it's not competition it's not her and her insecurities trying to make me out to be an enemy or her trying to out to get me because of her insecurities and shit like that and vice versa and I don't want to gossip, and I don't want to be in no mess, and I don't want to talk about no celebrity shit, none of that. Um, and then lastly, my crown. Um, I am starting a challenge, and I want to see how this goes. But the thing that I want to do is to remove extensions from my hairstyle. So, you know, I like to utilize a lot of extensions. I like to add um, Marley hair to my ponytails, or when I'm doing like two braids or braids and stuff like that so i don't want to braid my hair um or any of those things i just want to have fully my have my own natural hair out now and just work with creating different styles and designs and stuff like that within my own natural hair um, and being more uncomfortable with my own natural beauty in terms of my hair and i need you know and i feeling like my hair needs to be all the way down up under my titty just for it to come out beautiful or for my face to look beautiful or stuff like that right so i threw away all my extensions all like the hairs that i had um because i could give out some hair put a whole hair style but also because like the hair textures don't even be matching my hair and my hair is too beautiful for the textures and the quality and stuff is just not the same and just too many chemicals that are in those in that shit now that is just like it irritates my scalp and and all the things it dries out my hair tangles it and shit so i'm just going to be doing more i want to have my my hair out more um as far as like froze and braid outs and stuff like that because now that it's grown back like i used to do it before but then now that it's growing back now i definitely i guess much longer now and i remember like the one video was like my hair's not growing and then i see my hair's growing <laughs> I'm just extra but yeah so those are just the things that i'm going to be changing within my chakra those are my treatment plans of course it's up to changing you don't have to be as like rigid and hard for yourself you can just see like what are those things that you want to look and what are some of the actions that are reasonable that you can start changing now so right now i can't move but i can change how often i'm in the house 
I can't move, but I can change how, you know what I mean? Like, I can, you know, just different stuff like that. Like, I, I can work on my self-esteem. And if I want certain things, certain goals, I'm going to have to make sure that I'm ready for those, right? So, yeah. So, I have another project that I do definitely want to do that I need to make sure that my body is right and tight for that. Um, and so, I'm going to be working out and running. And, you know, it's summertime. People are typically resting around summertime. They're vacationing. And usually when you guys vacation, I do the opposite. So, when people are vacating, the general public is vacationing, I am working. And when they're working, I'm vacationing and resting, sleeping, and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm not gonna be, so I'm just gonna be mindful of the content that I'm watching, um, the things that I'm like putting into, even just music-wise as well, getting back into not listening to mainstream music because I had got back into it, listening to mainstream, and I need to get back out of it. Um, and going back into listening to like meditative sounds and all that good stuff. So it's just like that, just looking at the things that you want to change that's going in, in regards to your chakras, and then we're gonna go further deeper into our therapy sessions now just our therapy sessions but I will go into like diagnosis and stuff like that and psychoeducation and all that in our next video um but the treatment one is done <laughs> so yeah um I'll actually make a separate video we'll start pulling cards so this one's not super super duper long right okay so I'll make another video and you can just chit chat about some of the some of the downloads that I received just on my from my ride here okay bye